Since naval supremacy became the mainstream military concept, the construction of warships has become an important task for powerful nations. Later, more covert submarines appeared. However, large warships, while deterring other countries, also became targets for attacks and were difficult to conceal due to their size. The experience during World War II taught people to be vigilant against special operations carried out by frogmen, as they can silently enter harbors to carry out deadly bombings. Wherever there are frogmen, there is a need for anti-frogman operations. Due to the different battlefield environments, everyone knows that frogmen need specialized weapons and equipment such as underwater explosive devices and underwater firearms. But what about the side conducting anti-frogman operations? How to quickly counterattack after discovering frogmen becomes the focus. And the Soviet Russian DP-64 Nepryadva grenade launcher is designed for this purpose. The DP-64 is a double-barreled grenade launcher arranged vertically with a caliber of 45 millimeters. The two barrels alternate firing and the launcher weighs 10 kilograms. The smoothbore barrel is 600 millimeters long. However, in order to reduce the size of the launcher, the designer used a structure similar to a stockless rifle. The overall length is 820 millimeters. The firing grip is installed below the lower barrel towards the rear, and there is also a stabilizing grip below the middle of the barrel. There is a recoil pad at the rear of the launcher to reduce recoil impact. The shooter operates it by shouldering it, and there is a simple sight above the launcher. Structurally, this launcher does not have anything novel. It is like a larger version of a double-barreled hunting rifle. A grenade launcher mounted under a rifle can also achieve similar effects. Its real threat lies in the ammunition it uses. The ammunition used by the DP-64 is like a small mortar shell with stabilizing fins at the end. It is launched using a shell filled with propellant. After firing, the ammunition flies out while the shell is left behind. There are two types of ammunition. One is the FG-45 high explosive shell, which can adjust the depth of the explosion with a maximum depth of 40 meters underwater. Due to water pressure, it can achieve a destructive radius of 14 meters. This poses a great threat to frogmen and their diving equipment. The other type of ammunition is the SG-45 signal flare, which continues to burn for 50 seconds after being fired, used to illuminate the location of the frogman. The maximum range of the DP-64 is only 400 meters, and the firing rate is relatively slow, with four rounds of ammunition fired per minute. However, there is no need to criticize this equipment because it is mainly provided to sailors who lack light weapons training. Simplicity and reliability are the top priorities. Moreover, frogmen's speed and reaction in the water are not very fast. A single effective hit with a high explosive shell can cause significant damage. This equipment is very suitable for equipping various surface ships and submarines, providing timely means of anti-frogman operations. It can also be carried on helicopters and patrol boats at bases. During testing, it was found that the DP-64 has a very high reliability. Soldiers can operate it after simple training, and there is only a small muzzle flash when firing. Someone once suggested why not design it with the same caliber as the 50mm caliber used by the Army's grenade launchers. This is related to Soviet tests in the 1980s. At that time, 45mm caliber ammunition was used for shooting at a distance of 400 meters, while 50mm caliber ammunition was used for shooting at a distance of 1500 meters. Based on the test results, the final choice was the 45mm caliber. The DP-64 was successfully developed in the final years of the Soviet Union, but as a special weapon, it did not undergo large-scale production. It was only occasionally produced and equipped to units such as the Marine Corps and the Coast Guard, and Russia also offered it for export, although there are no export records for this launcher.